Hello, Nathan Judah. I'm here with Telford United reporter Matt Viney. Matt, good news. We've got a win. Yep, seventh win of the season uh, at Braintree on Tuesday night and well deserved as well. They were uh, they, they read the look a little bit at times, but generally they were solid. It was another good. Uh, there have been a few good away performances, mm. and it was it was one of them. They. Uh, as I say, they, it was sort of nip and tuck in the first half, but they, they came out in the second half and uh, they got a penalty, which was very just, you know, very, very definitely was, was a penalty. Uh, Tony Gray stayed very cool, dispatched it, and then they got another one very quickly afterwards, and they were never really troubled after that. It was uh, yeah, nice to have something positive to report. Are those the kind of nights where you look back at the game and you kind of frustrated the way the season has been, that they have got the ability to do, to do that against teams? Yeah, absolutely. Cause as I say, that was it was it was a, a proper away performance. Mm -hmm. that, you know, they they was they were solid. They were difficult to break down, um, and they were clinical with the chances that they had. And Braintree were a decent side. They were they were challenging for the playoffs last season. It's a notoriously difficult place to go to and get a result. Mm -hmm. So um, those are the, the types of performances that, that keep teams up, and, and there's clearly potential there. Um, but they just haven't had enough of them. So yeah, it was frustrating, but. It was a decent performance, and it was it was well deserved. Do you feel now it's, it's almost you know assured of relegation? Do you feel that like they're playing a, a little bit with a bit more freedom? Um, I mean, I, I don't I don't necessarily think that's the case. To be mm. honest, no. I, I mean, I think they are until it's mathematically impossible. They sure. Are sort of uh, you know they are, as you would expect, they are mm. saying that they, they, you know, they won't give up. Um, I don't think it's a case of playing with a bit, bit more freedom. I just think that. Um, certain games they seem to settle, uh, certainly against the, the Torquay game as well when they won that one, they they settled well, um, they kept things tight and they took their chances and they are capable of doing that, it's just um, thing, you know, it just hasn't happened enough for them really. You talk about settling, how, how do you think Steve Kittrick's done since he's been in charge? Had a great start, mm. um, they went unbeaten in, in five games and then lost their way badly after that really and, and, and that took the sort of a, a lot of the enthusiasm and a lot of the, um, the momentum out of the, the the, the survival campaign, but uh, they have played with a bit more freedom. They have sort of been a little bit more expansive going forward. I think the defence has improved as well. There have been a lot of 1 0 defeats where they've been pretty tight, mm. um, pretty solid, but they've just lacked that little bit of quality at the other end to respond when they're falling behind. Um, but time was against him. I think we have to remember that when he came into the uh, came into Telford, they played more than half their league games already, yeah, of course, and yeah. they were 15 points adrift. So it was always going to be a very difficult task. Um, they've been, we would say, sort of definite but small improvements. But it, obviously, you would think it probably hasn't, probably isn't going to be enough. And a short trip to, to Dover this weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, save the best. Tell oh, well, not quite last, but um, yeah, it's uh, just a just a 500 mile round trip, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's a potentially a massive game for Telford because uh, another win would ju would just keep things rolling rolling on. Potentially could, could cut that gap. It would just keep their sort of very very faint hopes sure. alive. Um, defeat would leave them at the base at the the, the, uh, the hands of fate really if, if Alfreton and Southport both win their games uh, Torquay Alfreton are at, uh, against Barnet and Torquay against uh, Southport if uh, they win both of those and Telford lose then then they are down it right. would be official um, but I think all they can do really is concentrate on their own game if they win keeping nice and simple mm -hmm. then, you know, then, then the campaign rolls on for another week sure do you think the likelihood is that they'll have to wait another week a stay of execution um <sighs> I Difficult to it, say it, with help this season. It, yeah, it's certainly. Um, I think if they hadn't beaten Braintree, then they would be going there with a real sense mm -hmm. of foreboding. They would, even if they'd won, the chances are they probably would have gone down. Now that they've won uh, against against Braintree, it just it injects quite a lot more doubt into it now. So I mean, if they draw, then potentially yeah, I think they can go down. But it it would you know, rely on both 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 sides winning, both of the sides in just above the, the drop mm -hmm. zone winning. It just gives them a bit more flexibility, a little bit more wiggle room and just a, a sliver more hope really. And you'll be able to follow Matt on Saturday exclusively at ShropshireStar.com.